Welcome to this video about reflections and one of you asked on my website explainingmaths.com uh, to help with this particular question yeah? and you can do the same thing, go to my website, uh, find all the resources, uh, they are nice to organize for you, it's all for free and you can ask me your questions too, Yeah, so that's explainingmaths.com So what's going on here? The initial question was to so draw these um, um, axes and draw the triangle ABC yeah, with these particular coordinates and then the question is reflected in first in the y x, then in the line y is 2, and then the line y equals x. And every time we have to give the coordinates of um, a, the vertex a, okay, after the reflection. Good. So um, I am um, going to start now with the y axis, and you should realize this is the y axis. So I'm going to just highlight that line, I'll do it in blue. And I'm physically putting um, a ruler on my tablet. You see, that's what's happening if I do that. So you should be able to do it a lot neater than I am. I'll do the best I can. Again, this is a ruler on the tablet, but that's not too bad. That's the line, the y-x. And if I have to um, reflect it, I just look at the horizontal distance. Let's start with point B. So that is one unit, or that's actually two units. Yeah, so I'll go two units to that side for point B. And I'll call that B apostrophe okay after reflection c we're going to do the same thing so c is going to be over there c apostrophe and point a is one two three of those blocks yeah that's six units so one two three of those blocks six units in that direction too um there we go so that's going to be point a apostrophe now i'm going to <clears throat> draw that now and do the best i can with my ruler on my tablet, you should be able to do a much better job. Yeah, it needs to be accurate. Okay, but I think we got the idea, right? That's the reflection in the y axis. There we go. Giving the coordinate of a apostrophe, so that is going to be um, minus 6, 8. Yeah, so let me just put it there minus 6, 8. Good. The second question is. Uh, to reflect this triangle in the line y equals 2. Well, you need to realize, I'll do it in red, that the line y equals 2, that is a horizontal line where the y coordinate is 2. Okay? So that's this horizontal line. There we go. And I need to reflect it in that line. So I'll do the same thing. I'll now look at the vertical distance from C to that line. So that is two blocks, yeah, four units. So I continue two blocks and reflect it there. So C is going to be over here, C apostrophe. All I'm going to do is double apostrophe, otherwise perhaps we get confused with that one. Same for B, one, two, three blocks. So one, two, three blocks. It's going to be over here. B apostrophe, double apostrophe, John, sorry about that. And A, one, two, three blocks. Yeah, one, two, three blocks over there. So there we go. And I can draw that triangle too. I can try anyway, and there we go. You see, it's yeah, it's been flipped then eh? when you reflect it. Type of transformation. Anyways, the coordinate of a double apostrophe is going to be six horizontally and then minus four. Okay, six and minus four. There we go. So that was or a reflection in a vertical line and a reflection in a horizontal line. <clears throat> but now we have the last question in the line y equals x. Now, let me draw that line for you. You should be able to do that quickly. Yeah, the most basic line through the origin with a gradient of one, Yeah, which means one step to the right, you go one step up. Anyway, that's the line y equals x. And we have to uh, reflect um, the original triangle in that particular line. Now, there are several ways of approaching it. I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll take a vertex A, I go to my line, I'll call it diagonal line, I go to the line, and if I go down one block, then after reflection I should go to the right one block. So A apostrophe, or A, let's call it triple apostrophe, yeah? again to distinguish between this A and that A, is going to be over there. I could also have gone horizontally to the line of reflection first, and then I have to go down, because of its... Yeah, because it's a diagonal, okay? So horizontally, then down one block. Or if you go down first, then horizontally the second time. Yeah, so that's a triple apostrophe. C, if I go two down, so in a mirror line, it's a diagonal, I go 
two to the right. So C is going to be over there. And where we are over here. So that's going to be C, triple apostrophe. Yeah, and I could also have done C. I could have done horizontally first, two blocks, and then two down, as you can see. And B, one, two, three. So one, two, three, B is going to be there. And as you notice, yeah, all those triangles or it remains a triangle after reflection every time. They may be flipped or turned or rotated, whatever you want to call it. But every time we're still talking about a right angle triangle. Yeah, so the shape of the triangle doesn't change. It doesn't become bigger, smaller. Okay, so there we go. And the coordinate of a triple apostrophe is 8 and 6. There we go. 8 six good well that was a good question about reflection yeah again where we have a vertical line of reflection a horizontal mirror line and a diagonal mirror line and especially that last one you have to take extra care yeah so if i go one two three to the right then i have to go one two three down yeah or if i go one two three down first and after the reflection i have to go one two three to the right good hopefully that was useful yeah like and share it if it was yeah do me that favor in return thank you very much and check my website explainingmaths.com where you'll find everything you need to pass your maths exams okay so please i'll see you there Bye bye